Chill, guys, chill. I promise this will all be worth it in the end. We should get moving already. Then I can fill you in with the details of the mission. You better spill it. Tell me why you made me drag my ass out of my comfortable home today. This better not be one of those silly missions, Obama. I promise I'll break your bones. I honestly am not in a good mood. Plus, why are those cars trying to frustrate me further? Hey there, folks. I've got a fantastic question from our viewer, Jackshell Arch SBB. They want to know if I could swap jobs with any fictional character for a day, who would it be and why? Well, Jackshell SBB, that's a tough one. But if I had to pick, I'd say Superman. I mean, who wouldn't want to fly around saving the world with those cool superpowers, right? And hey, shout out to you for such a fun question. You rock. Superman, huh? That's a good one, Joe. But me, I'd have to go with Tony Stark, AKA Iron Man. I mean, the guy's a billionaire, genius, philanthropist, and he's got that super cool suit. Plus he gets to hang out with all those Avengers. Now that's what I call a job upgrade. Iron Man, eh? Can't argue with that choice, Donald. But let's not forget, being president comes with its own set of superpowers, like signing bills into law and making executive orders. Pretty cool, huh? You got a point there, Joe. Being president is like being a superhero in its own way. So Jack Charles BB, thanks for the awesome question. Keep them coming, folks. And hey, while we're on the topic, folks, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more fun discussions, shout outs, and maybe even some presidential antics. Your support means the world to us and it helps us keep spreading positivity and laughter. So let's make it happen, folks, like subscribe and let's keep this amazing community growing stronger every day. I have a couple of meetings later today. This better be quick. Can I call you guys without having you constantly complain? You always take us on some silly missions? Those missions are always worthless, a total waste of time. So tell us why you called us here. A few bad moments don't make everything terrible. You are ungrateful, but I promise guys, this is going to be one of the most enjoyable ones. Yep, that's the first sign that Obama will take us on another funny business. Listen to me and stop making crazy assumptions already. To add to the list of adventurous things, let's steal that monkey suit PETA displayed in their lobby. I have everything mapped out, nothing to worry about. It's a simple job. We get in there, get the monkey suit, and get out. Easy fucking peasy. The last time you said a mission was going to be easy fucking peasy, we almost got killed. I have every reason not to trust you, Obama. Steal a monkey suit? You're many things, Obama-rama, but I didn't think you've gone wild. What the hell do you mean by stealing a monkey? Is that how jobless we are now? I said a monkey suit, not a monkey, you buffoon. We can't steal a monkey. Those annoying animals would make a mess of us. I like monkeys. They are intelligent animals. But that aside, Obama, you can't keep bringing me on silly ass missions like this. I'm the president of the United States. I shouldn't be seen doing stuff like that. You've been seen doing funny things, Sleepy Joe. This shouldn't be something different. Dunderhead, we're talking about stealing. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. No one's going to trace it to us, I promise. Talking about stealing. You don't want us to open that chapter, do you, Sleepy Joe? Just shut up and leave me out of your clown talk. Now, Obama, can you tell me why there are guns involved in this? I thought it would be the tiptoe in and out of the building kind of stealing. I honestly don't understand all this. You didn't think we would get in here and they would hand over the suit like that, did you? You want Joe Biden to think? Do you want him to hurt himself? Joe and think should not even be in the same sentence. You've been looking to get me to notice you. Well, here you have my undivided attention. Pot-bellied man, just because you got rejected doesn't mean you should behave like a mean high boy who got rejected for prom by a girl. You must be delusional to think that I'm still in my feelings about that. And besides, I had a better option. I didn't know what came over me to think of you at the time. Wait, what? It's all in your voice. It's still showing. You know what I think, Trumpy? You're a super emotional folk who claims things never get to you. The last elections will always be a perfect example. You think you know me? Well, I'm here to tell you for free that if I were a course in school, no one would ever graduate. It would be one of the most dreaded courses in the universe. Do you think that's a flex? Even as a person, you're still a piece of shit. And as a course, students should note down just a few things. A fat ass, emotional, self-centered, nailhead bully. That's what they need to know to get an A. Don't tell me you think you said something phenomenal. As usual, just like your presidency, a lame ass joke. All right, guys, can you fill me in? I'm lost. Who's asking who out? Who got rejected? I thought you both had wives already. Let me understand and stop giving me a headache. I have some assholes to deal with here. You, Obama, seriously, that's gross. Well, help me out here and stop letting my imagination go wild. He would never say it. Let me tell you then. On a Saturday morning, just as I stood on my balcony, basking in the beautiful sun that graced that very day, I received a call from Donald Trump. 
and the moment instantly went sour. I asked myself, what have I done to deserve this? Because I knew a call coming from him could never mean any good. Well, with a bit of reluctance, I answered the call. I heard his squeaky voice, and all I wanted at that point was for the earth to open up and swallow me. Donald features the most annoying voice in the world. Just one utterance from him, and you could be thinking of suicide. It's still funny to me that we're stealing a monkey suit of all things to steal in the world. What happened to gold bars? You can't be serious, Trump. What happened to the gold bars that we stole from the bank? Stop saying stealing. It's making me feel like a thief. Say something like, we are taking the monkey suit. That's much cooler, please. You honestly cannot be serious, Joe Biden. Whatever, guys. Let's pack this stuff and leave. Yeah, because I don't want the silly police locking my ass up for stealing a fucking monkey suit. Not money, not an airplane, not an experimental compound that would keep alive forever. A monkey suit. Trust me, I'll be mad and I would kill you, Obama. Now let's get out of here before that happens. Joey, you aren't done telling me what happened. I'm surprised that you're yet to know who you're dealing with, Obama-rama. Don't tell me you believe the nonsense he's saying. He's a complete clown, an irredeemable idiot, an unwise fraud, a... Just shut up and let me continue from where I stopped. So where was I? Don't you ever interrupt me in your miserable life or I'll push you off a cliff. That still wouldn't stop me from telling the world why you've been moving like a rabid dog. So as I was saying, I got that useless call that day and it sank my spirit. I stood there for a few seconds listening to his nonsense. The world had frozen for some seconds on my end until I jolted back to reality when he yelled, a demented old man. Damn, I hate it when he calls me that. But there's no stopping Donald Trump, is there? Get to the core of this whole thing and stop trying to practice your storytelling skills. Can you motherfuckers just let me finish already? All right. As I was saying, I told him no over the phone. And he went to give several explanations, but all that fell on dead ears. I needed my peace and sanity. I need to be in a sane environment for some things. Guys, I'll follow in the other car. Some research shows that when you hang someone for a long time, their behavior starts to reflect on you. The last thing I want is to have some disgusting behavior rub off on me. Wow, this is getting interesting. Go on, Mr. President, we are all ears. So, should I give up? Because I honestly don't see any light at the end of the tunnel. I'm getting to the central part. Then he tried to plead with me and told me how I would enjoy it. And then I said, to be honest, Trump, I don't even enjoy playing golf that much. Call me when it's an ice cream licking game. Then I ended the call. At that point... Wait, what? This whole thing was about stupid golf? Are you insane, Joe Biden? I warned you, but you wouldn't listen to me. You mean I kept my attention on for an insane number of minutes only for you to tell me this is about some stupid golf shit? Are you being serious right now? Tell me this isn't a joke. I haven't gotten to the central part. That's only just a section of what happened. This must be a joke. What more do you have to say? Then I started getting unending calls and messages saying he would unalive if I didn't go to play golf with him. And just so you know, Hippopotamus, I showed Jill all those silly messages you sent me. If anything happens to me, be rest assured my wife is coming for your ass. When you spend your entire life watching children's cartoons and playing their games, this is the nonsense you end up cooking up instead of working as the president of the United States of America. Pathetic. But you can't say my story was forged, you dimwit. Trying to give yourself so much relevance in the story, uh, that was an overly exaggerated story, and I'm sure everyone who listened to it must have unknowingly lost some brain cells, even the viewers watching. Everybody knows that the character you described isn't and will never be Donald Trump. You live in your head. Get outside and see the world, dung eater. Hope you guys know some people are chasing after us. I just made a loser face for them. I think they're furious now. You always love getting people into trouble. What in the world is your problem? Are you trying to look for a problem where there is none? I saw them coming after us. I made a funny face for them. How am I the problem? You better shut your bitch mouth up and get the hell out of my sight. Take a look around. I'm nowhere close to you, fucking dimwit. I'm only trying to find my balance after that horrible story Joe made me listen to. Don't ever waste my time like that again, or I'm going to fuck you up. You wanted to hear what happened, and I told you. What were you thinking? Never mind. Just let that never happen again. Let's focus on getting our treasure to safety. This is all your fault. If you didn't call for this nonsense, I wouldn't be running from a group of people just because I accompanied in stealing a stupid monkey suit, which makes no sense, by the way. This still baffles me now. Why a money suit? Don't have a sense of adventure, Grumpy Trump? We're like modern-day Robin Hood, a legendary heist this is. I'm still struggling to understand your thought process. I didn't know anyone could compete with Joe in being so stupid. Is Michelle aware of this? F 
funny of you to think that he tells Michelle about most of his adventures. Remember that treasure hunting adventure? This is just the continuation of that day, only that the day is brighter today, and we have these insane motherfuckers to deal with. They're just shooting like it's so severe. Dudes, it's just a monkey suit. That day, we got chased by a shark. Today, it's some monkey suit lunatics. Barack Obama, can you please explain why you love putting lives on the line? Whoa, whoa, don't crush me, please. Maybe the suit costs an excellent fortune. First, I would say, leave my wife out of this, you bloody animals. Secondly, this is just another fun. Yeah, fun day. Just like you took us into a race and almost got me killed in the middle of the sea. I'll never forgive all you've done to me, Obama. Never. It's not like I didn't apologize about that. Why the hell are you blowing it out of proportion? Trump, meet us where we met initially. You never apologize, plus I almost just shot you, idiot. I get scared of bullets sometimes when I remember I got shot in my butt once time. It must still be traumatizing for you, but still, a shot in your butt won't stop us from going on adventures. Get that into your head. We're here, Trump. You're an inconsiderate bastard. I said I should let you know. Now let's finish this off. Since these idiots wouldn't let us be, we should face them instead of running. I can't believe these lunatics followed here. Funny. They are not wrong to shoot at us, though. We stole their stuff. How would you feel if someone walked into your home and took Michelle? That's not something you should joke with, moron. That's where I draw the line. Let's check if these bastards are all gone. That's where you draw the line, but they shouldn't draw the line, too. Can't you see you're sick and need urgent medical attention, Obama? Trying to act like a man of good morals doesn't look good on you. Piss off. Now let's get in and get the hell out of here. This is someone who comfortably told you a whole ass lie and called it a story. What did you expect, Obama-rama? Oh, and about that, I wasn't lying. I wish the world were there to bear me witness. Okay, let's start with this. Can you show us the messages you said I sent to you? Well, I didn't bring my phone with me. What's that I see sticking out of your pocket, Joey? Get the hell out of the way. I meant to say I left the message in a much more secure place, so you wouldn't hack my phone and delete it. Point 1001 to show that nothing like that ever happened, and Joe Biden is just another delusional motherfucker? All right, you got me. What the hell? You're insane, Sleepy Joe, so that you know.